Hello and welcome back. As you can see now, I opened the Arduino IDE and I ran and you can verify the output here. Hello world from A2G learners. So that moment has arrived, so I'll show you how. I'll just terminate and relaunch the program. I will also open my target board so you can see. And I'm clicking yes, okay. Debug session, it's asking debug session. So I'll open the um, debuggers, STM32 application, minimizing this, going to Arduino IDE. Zero errors, zero warnings. As you can see, the, the program is running with this red light. It is loaded to the microcontroller. And on the background, it's still doing 89%. On the background, I opened um, Arduino IDE. I click on switch. And I click on run here, I'm waiting for the IDE to open. Okay. You got to debug, run debug as debug STM32 application. Yeah, okay, switch. I'm opening the IDE, then as you know, this target board is connected via COM3 to the computer. So you need to set that in the Arduino IDE. And then you have to hit the reset button and that will start to communicate. Okay, so it's loaded. And it's still checking on the debug mode to change to debug mode. While it's doing that, you're going to go and select the board. So you know this board is connected to COM3. Select the board. Port and select Adult Fruit Circuit Playground. Set OK. And then you go here Tools, Serial Monitor. And there you go output so now we are able to communicate i2c i'm sorry now we are able to communicate usat2 and whatever you print here it communicates the data transfer and uh, it comes out as hello world from a2g learner so that's what we typed here this is what we typed As you can see, this is what we type. Hello world from A to DG learners. Hello world from A to DG learners. So there you go. The program is working and well done. I'll go and do a recap of the program. So this is inside hash include standard in dot H. First you got to copy all the registers with memory addresses. And then you have to declare as pointers with the addresses. All the um, clock, the PAHB1 enable the RCC GA, GPIO port A clock. This is the advanced peripheral bus one for user two peripheral clock. Um, this is the port motor. And this is the alternate function register low. 
and then you need to set all the uh, user registers you have to configure the status register the data register baud red register and control register and then you got to initialize the user first by writing enable clock for gpa well enable the clock for user then setting the port mode as 10 for alternate mode then declaring that afr lower register and then sending the baud red setting the baud red with 9600 and then you got to enable the transmitter and enable and usart enable to configure and then we are writing to usart while usart to status register when the transmit data empty is ready until it gets zero then once it gets zero then fetch the data and display from the data register and to use printf statement you got to use another function int i will put character off in character and whatever you type in the printf it will start to run the uart write and this will print and you can view the output in any serial terminal i open arduino ide i also showed you how to install arduino ide and this is how you check and verify the output so voila you learned the first communication protocol usart transmit the next session you're going to learn about usart receive so going back uh, just give me a sec i lost my mouse i'll minimize this so it's done so we hit the baud rate calculation uh, this is the usart write program we uh, uh, write with usart status register you have to enable this txc transmit data register empty txc this transmitter data register empty and once it's empty then send data data is transferred to the shift register by giving zero cross ff means zero cross one And then in the user data register contains a received or transmitted data character depending on whether it is read from or written to the data register performs a double function since it's composed of two registers one for transmission and one for reception the transmission register provides a parallel interface between the internal bus and the output shift register internal bus and the output shift register through the apb1 ahb through this communicates to this via the bus when transmitting the parity enabled bit set to one user cr1 register the value written in the msb bit 7 or bit 8 depending on the data length has no effect because it is replaced by the parity so that's what we learned so what we learned today so far we learned about what is an uart and we learned about the differences between uart and usart and the general steps when you want to communicate when you to when you want to do the data transmit there are a few steps that you got to learn so we uh, copied by the memory address then enable the clock and then um, we set the port mode register to alternate function and chose alternate function register low and then we went into um, configuring the usr2 module registers and then i showed you line by line from scratch you got the your demo as i said earlier you got to develop your mindset as well when you develop your skill set and that's go hand in hand and today's points i would like to bring out to you is managing money is more important than making money yes because you got to know first how you can control your money flow otherwise whatever you make money you can't um, keep it or save it there is two different mindset the second point one is scarcity and abundance scarcity is something you are hesitant to um, uh, use the money to do something you're always in fear of what happens what happens but 
be in abundance money mindset the more you invest on the more profit or more positivity it creates so be in the abundance mode and also be using in the arigato technique that is an abundance technique and i would recommend you to read these five books about money making and managing money thou shall prosper happy money rich dad poor dad atomic habits think and grow rich by napoleon hill this will all give you that uh, managing money it's really good worth read it also don't forget with your involvement write down your top 10 goals and you write 10 ideas to achieve that goal and at least spend 30 minutes to do some sort of exercise or go for a walk and at least dedicate 15 minutes to do meditation and 10 minutes to visualize to actually achieving those goals and then 10 minutes to focus on your daily plan activities for the rest of the day or for tomorrow or for what's in the next week <clears throat> and then 2 hours of learning will get you 2 points please please post all your achievements in the facebook group so everyone follows each other and we we are all trying to help each other and learn from each other and this will motivate us <coughs> excuse me there is combo internship coming up your way i don't want to cram everything into one module so i divided into three separate modules so you already learn beginner and you are in the middle of intermediate please also do purchase her advanced course so you can get the whole cortex m series information and uh, all the knowledge and all the projects that come with it it's really good for you and also please stay tuned with our uh, more internship bundle combo you get all of the courses coming your way and you will be the first person to know and uh, to upskill yourself and to learn a bit more about everything and these are all coming your way so please stay tuned and i take this opportunity to thank you so much for all your patience and uh, going through with me and learning with me line by line to transmit data in using usr2 with tx and the next session you're going to learn about the usr to receive so go and enjoy that lovely break that you have deserved from the screen and take care this is um aru i'm signing off on behalf of a2dg Who do for now I'll catch you in the next session until then take care bye for now catch you later